Alright my lovers, welcome back on the farm, Bob Slayer and Toddy. I do a lot of work hello. during the week and, uh, sorry Toddy, say that again. I just said hello, that's, all, that's, that's nothing better, yeah, we've got the audio <laughs> better too. Um, I yep. do a lot of work during the week and I hire this guy uh, one day during the week to give me a hand. And um, if you look up the top, uh, Toddy, you'll see we're actually in July. Oh uh yeah? -huh. We left in August, didn't we? We did, yes. We done field 26, which was a major harvest for a contract. Uh, explain to everybody what happened. Well, uh, we obviously uh, we harvested the field um, and we took the grain up to uh, the Jardin Farmier. Um, excuse my French. Um, and uh, we took what, probably three double trailer loads up there yeah, for the probably, contract. Probably six trailer loads, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we took six trailer loads up there, but there was still grain in the combine. And as we were coming back, uh, Bob had just finished off the field of the combine, and it said uh, contract completed. Uh, but right. the combine was full, wasn't it? Pretty much when you stopped. And yeah. So, uh, and, and we had about three sways left to do, didn't we, in the field? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we still had. Yeah, that's right. You still had combining left to do in the field as well. Just only a little bit though. Um, so you finished off the field, and then we uh, pretty much loaded up two trailers, didn't we? Um, and we stuck it over in our silo, <laughs> yeah. Basically, using the guy's equipment that he paid us to uh, to do the contract with. I um, think we roughly got it? about twenty-two thousand for doing the job, and we got another fifty thousand for the yeah. excess grain, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So I mean, that, that was well worth doing. Although I have done other contracts where um, I've actually been on 89 percent well i've definitely completed it so hmm. there's obviously a bit of a contract glitch going on <coughs> yeah uh, which is in our favor so that's not too bad that that one was yes that was good go uh, other way though the other thing is if you come with me yeah. we'll go over to the field uh what i've done is i've uh, done a time lapse on uh season so basically i stood here for two and a half hours and i moved time on until July, so we're ready for harvest on the canola. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, now, moving time on took me two and a half hours real time, and I've condensed that down to a um, two-minute video, which will be strapped on the front of this one. So they will actually see the seasons go past before we start talking. So ho hopefully yeah. you've enjoyed that. Yeah. It snowed and it, it thundered and it did all sorts. Um, yeah, it was really good. <coughs> now, the other thing that I've done is I've gone around and uh, could you remember in FS19, there was the gold nuggets you could pick up, collectibles? Yes, yeah, I eggs, yeah. Yeah, I've been around and I've collected all 20 Easter eggs collectibles oh, if, you, right. if you look at our money we're on one million yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's not a cheat everybody can do it and i actually made a video explaining where every single one is and ah, excellent and i've did them all and that went out yesterday so you probably oh, better I have to sub subscribe to your channel. I didn't get that notification. <laughs> so, um, I've got some catching up to do myself by the looks on that. <laughs> Definitely. So, yeah, I did a uh, half hour video in. I took the old um, truck out and I visited every single pickup there is. And they are worth 50 grand each. So there's 20 they, of them and you get 1 million. Easy. Are they pretty easily accessible, or are some of them in right, right city places? Oh, no, you, you've got it. There's a castle somewhere. Where, I don't know where the castle is now, but there is a castle, mm. and there are two in the castle. There's one in a cave, one up in the bowels of the castle. They are very hard to find, but there is places right. on the Internet where you can look to see where they are, but you don't have to do mm. that. 
come to my channel and I will show you exactly <laughs> where they are. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we have got a choice. Um, we either. Oh, by the way, I started mm -hmm. my time lapse at one million one hundred and fifty quid. By the time I'd finished, it came out at one million one hundred and seventy three thousand. Which means that that's what you're making on oh, the uh, greenhouse. Greenhouses. Yeah, I, I thought maintenance. Oh, here we go. The money's going to go down. But no, the greenhouse made me nearly 20 grand. Excellent. In one year. So there's a, a benchmark for you. Well, each, made you made, yeah, 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 each big greenhouse made. will make you about 20 grand a year. <coughs> um, yeah, but it, did you but did you have to water it then or did it just automatically Yes, halfway, halfway through. It all died. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I was looking over here, and halfway through, everything went brown, and I thought, oh, crap. But all I did was I paused it, grabbed the water bowser, filled the greenhouse, and it all came green again. Excellent. So it revitalizes. Mean, just, just, just on a side note there, you are actually paying for water by doing it this way. Yes, I know. I can go down to the river and suck it out. Yeah, for free, free of charge. Yeah, yeah but so the amount... So you the, the amount of water yeah. it costs you is, yeah, if you've got 20 greenhouses, I recommend you get a big bozer and take it out of the river. But yeah. just for that one greenhouse, it's not too bad. So anyway, you're the planner. Now, I was thinking, look, we've got to combine three fields. We've got to bail. So are you the planner? I'm the planner. Yeah, you, you, you know more about planning what goes on than I do. Now, we've got three okay. fields to combine. We've got £1,170 to spend. Do we buy the big combine so we can go contracting with it? Oh, do we see, buy is... chickens? Do we mm. buy sheep? Do we buy sheds? What shall we buy? Um, we don't need a baler as much because it's canola. No, we, we do need bigger equipment to yeah. be able to contract better. That's what I'm but, thinking. Um, but we need a decent return on it at the same time. Now, one of the best returns I've found is actually with the fertilising. Um, is the Basically, if you get a self-propelled sprayer, it yeah. doesn't use doesn't use anywhere near the amount of uh, fertilizer. Yeah, that, I've done a bit that, of contracting during the week, and I found I was, as you can see behind you, there are four crates, five crates of fertilizer. Yeah, I have done a lot of, of contracting during the week, and I've dropped it all off here before I sold the machine back. Well, that's another thing is um, you can get reimbursement from the contract, but it's not worth quite as much as it is for you to buy so if you wanted to just weigh it in at the end you would lose about uh i think i worked it out at 50 dollars or 50 pounds then uh per uh pallet uh yeah. reduction then yeah so whether you want to go through the path of this uh or whether you just wanted to lose that as part of the contract but what i what um, i you, yeah what i you found lose was the full value just no at, you uh, wouldn't uh, like a trade value yeah, but what I did find was if I was taking a contract on for about six grand, it was costing me three grand for three pallets of uh, fertilizer for. Yeah, but if it, when you've completed the fer completed the contract, if you hit collect money, yeah. it will come back with reimbursement, and it'll actually reimburse oh, you. Oh, does for, it for any product that's in the, ah, in the relevant okay. machinery that they've lent you? See, this but is why I need you here. I didn't know but that. They only, re they only reimburse you a trade price, so you are taking a little bit of a hit. But like I say, with it, you consider that to be worth the the faff of unloading and reloading and so on, or whether you just you know took the hit fifty dollars a pallet, yeah, instead of fifty quid a now, pallet. Now, pallet depends on the country. You're when in. I went to the farm shop, I also noticed about five hundred yards up the road there was a massive traffic jam. Somebody had right. left a uh, weed killer uh, pallet in the middle of the road when he was taking uh, out the class vexian. Uh, yeah, I did ask you where you wanted me to put that. I didn't get a response at the time, so I just left I thought, it where I thought was I thought, hang on, R <laughs> well, I thought RTA, what the friggin' hell's going on up the road? I went up there and it's one of my pallets, <laughs> which is quite funny. That, that uh, I, had a, me, yeah. I had a chuckle to myself. Now, what do we do? Do we get a decent combine? Um, well, the, th the difficult thing is, is you only need a combine for a short time each year. It's true. And also, also I found with contracts, by the way, uh, not with contracts, but leasing, is the best thing to do is to lease it at 12.01, just after midnight, yeah. and return it at 11.59 at night. You only pay for one day's lease. I thought we agreed borrowing was better. 
it is but if you go down the leasing route yeah the, then you can lease for pretty much 23 hours 58 minutes or even 59 minutes if you're that precise but i i go for 58 minutes because i'm not that precise um and that way you only pay for a day's lease uh as soon as it goes over midnight again even yeah. if you borrow it at nine o'clock at night when it goes over midnight it charges you for a second day's lease and if you put it on real time that will be like ages and ages and ages you can have it well exactly you can do a lot of contracts with it in that time <clears throat> yeah is True. what i'm getting at so if you've got to harvest your field uh and also there's other harvesting contracts then it i think it's better to lease the big combine yeah okay uh and, and then do the lot because we know for a fact that if we borrow the combine we cannot do contracts on our own fields but what we have found is that we can use other people's equipment to do contracts on other people's farms yeah which is a bonus. Uh, which is also which is also a bonus. <coughs> so you don't each every time you've finished one field you don't have to take that equipment back uh and collect and go on to the next one if you leave that one as active but completed then you can take on another contract of exactly the same thing like fertilizing harvesting whichever one it is uh and you can use somebody else's equipment on another person's field yes uh and, and then you'll get the full contract money for it yeah and also that does again also save buffing around emptying it every top five minutes and then reloading to go back out and do somebody else's field yeah exactly so the, but you can't use it on your own fields that's it yeah um you want to see what equipment you're given when you when you go for the borrow route because some farmers are a bit more affluent than others uh you may end up with a stay here <laughs> well do you want do you want to sell that stay and uh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. get, get ourselves really a decent nice. tractor to start with uh, yeah i found the class axiom uh class axiom i think it was i found that particularly good in the medium tractor range okay I, um I, I didn't really I mean, obviously, if you're going big and and modded and so on, then that's right. different because you just go for the Fen 1050. But okay, right. Um, Numbers and figures. I'm starting to get a headache already. Let's get on and uh, cause some mayhem. Okay. This is this <laughs> is multiplayer mayhem. Um, right. Okay. So we have got a bloke okay. stuck at the moment up on the delivery site. So we need to show uh, yeah. everybody how to bring him back. Okay. So if we go to map, uh, saving. And yeah. Hang on. I'm saving. Yeah. Saving, saving, yeah, saving. it's always safe. Go to map, right? I'm on map. Then I go steering wheel, don't I? Then you go to the one below that, yeah, which is the steering, steering wheel. wheel. Yeah. And uh -huh. if you look up at fields, there he is. And eight, yeah, I got him. See a yellow track there. So I click on him. You click on him. Yeah, I got it. It should say set destination. Set destination or create job. Yeah, don't. If you create a job, I mean, if you you can then select harvesting. Uh, re repeat deliveries. So uh, I'll just set like that. destination. But yeah. in, in this in this one, you're going to set destination, aren't you? Okay, destination is set. So then I need to target our farm, yeah. Uh, that you don't. That's it. You go then go down to wherever it is you want. In this case, it's down on your farm, like you say, which is down by field thirty-seven there. And you click um, on where you want him to be, and <coughs> also then once you've clicked on where you want him to be. It will ask you at which direction do you want them to point. So I'll click him there, rotate that way, click again. Right driving now, to target, it says. You should have active workers up on the top right now. Active worker, MF367, go to driving to target. That's it, yeah. And if you've got more than one active worker up there, there will only be one in blue. And the reason that you'll only have one in blue is because if you scroll up the map a little bit, you can see the Massey yep. 3670 he's, he's, he's there. He's now moving, yep. He's now moving, and you've got a picture of him. Yep. Uh, if you, basically, if you click down to any of the other ones, if you've got more than one active worker, then, then it will show you... Or I can click on the take. picture and it'll disappear. That's it. But he's yeah. still driving, yeah. Okay, that's that done. So he's on the way home. So we need to now go to, uh, we need to take the Steiner down and sell it. You don't and need to take it anywhere and sell it. You can sell it from where it is. How do I do that? Oh, there's a deer over there. Look, look guys, there's a deer. Hey. 
All right, he's gone oh. swimming. Oh, two CV. Oh, well, he nearly got hit by the two CV. <laughs> no, I saw that. <laughs> right, so... I told so, you, they drive like nutters around it. Right, so anyway, you don't even need to stand anywhere near the stayer. You don't even need to look at it, which is a good thing. So I um, go... If you press P, P. When you, then that, that is the default for the shop. Yep. And you will see a picture of a shed just below the percentage sign. Uh, yep, yeah, got it. That's okay, so if you, click on, if you click on the shed, that shows you all of the vehicles you've got. And at the moment, it just shows you, it to you in the categories that they exist. So yeah. if you've got more than one small tractor, then basically when you click on small tractors, it will show you more than one. But I think you've only got one. So I click on the small tractor, the first one, which is a Stein. Or, a, and then say stay, select. Yeah. Select. Select, yep, and then sell, which is enter, return, or sell. click on sell. Yes. So he's gone. Nice. And as if by magic, he's gone. There now, if is. you hit escape, it will tell you how much you've just made on that, which is £56,910. And now there is a gap there. Where did it tell me that? tells you in the top right uh it's gone now all right but where your money is it goes oh, yeah. green it's gone basically up. just underneath and it tells you the contract costs or whatever you get yeah uh, that same section tells you when you sell a vehicle how much you've just made yeah on that got thing. it so what okay, tractor you are can... you proposing we buy i reckon i like the class axiom so if i go so p I... so if you go p medium tractors Medium tractors, I'm, yeah. I might be wrong with the axiom. It might be an area. Select. Uh, no, it is an axiom. Which is yeah. green, isn't it? It's green, yeah. Class, Class axiom, axiom 870, 800, that one? That's the one, yeah. Buy that one, I yeah? Find, I find that one good value for money. Yeah, but don't just buy it. If you click on it. Customise, yeah. Customise, yeah. Can you put uh, wide tyres and wheel weights? <coughs> wheel um, set up standard. Yeah, wheel, uh, wheel weights, yep. Yeah. Uh, wheel it. brand. It says wide, wide tires and wheel weights too in brackets. Three thousand seven hundred pound tire. option. Wide left. tires plus wheel weights. Wide tires yeah. plus wheel weights. Wide tires too. Wide tires oh. plus wheel weights too. Got it? Yep. That's it. Yep. Okay. <coughs> uh, en engine setup at the moment is the Axiom eight hundred. If you just click on that to the left one, I can go to. I can 870. Go 870. Is that yeah. the one we want? Yeah, that's 45. That's, we want. that's, that's... that now. That's 233,200 pounds. I think we can afford that. Yeah, and it, but that is now a very nice, versatile, uh, maneuverable tractor. It's not too big and it's not too small. It seems to. And it's got a front loader on it as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and if we just look at the stats on the left-hand side here, we've got 295 horsepower. Yeah. Um, 31 miles an hour. It weighs 11 tons, uh, and it's got TM200 tyres on it, which we don't really care about. Yeah. Uh, and it's got variable transmission. Okay, yeah, so if you want to buy that one. Yep. Done. Okay. So and if I jump in it now, then. Uh, well, just before you do, you might want to put a weight on the front. Oh, we need a weight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, P again. Yeah, so if, if you go back <coughs> to P, go to trailers. Got it. Got the, the picture of the trailer, sorry, on the, on yeah. the left hand side, you've got tractors. Weights, and trailers. yeah, I'm in and weights. And weights down on the bottom right there, if you click on that one, and you scroll to the right until you get to class W900. Got it. Buy. Buy that one. Okay. Now, if you jump in that tractor, you'll find it pleasantly. Oh, our, um, our tractor's back by the look of it. Okay, yeah, I'm in it. Right, Where's I'm up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Massey's just arrived over in the corner over here. Over by the grain bins. It's a strange place to tell it apart, the but... There we go. Transport manager's been... <laughs> a bit on the side there again, I think. <laughs> I tell you what, that weight looks a little bit small on the front of this tractor. It's, it'll be alright. Right, I'm on the way. Full board. Really quickly. I both told you to get the wrong way. Whoa! Well, are you over in the country over there, aren't you? Yeah, I'm yeah. coming. I'm nearly here. Yeah, but the road, the way you're driving down through, I've actually re-landscaped that as a gravel track. Yes, I was thinking about that. I don't know how to do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, I'll run you through that if you want. 
Uh, would it work? No, we'll do that. we we'll do that on another video. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll try and keep on. Look at that. If we can. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a nice right, isn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look See inside. That? I didn't show him the inside. Hang on. Whoa. It's like a freaking spaceship in here. Yeah, and also, if anybody that's watching Clarkson's farm, uh, that's Caleb's tractor. All is it? Pretty much the same as, it's pretty much the same as Caleb's tractor. It's slightly different. So we've got to get a Lamborghini next then to beat it. <coughs> <laughs> well, yeah, or if you've got a Sammy as well, Sammy are exactly the same as Lamborghini. Yeah, that's, um, a, that's a nice and, tractor. And also, Deutz, a lot of the Deutz are very, very, very similar to the Lamborghini. Because Deutz, Sammy and Lamborghini are all in it together, really. The number plate's up um, on the exhaust. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, you can actually put your name on all these number plates, but you can. You if, can customise them. Yeah, if you're that vain. Um, yeah. Okay. Right. We got a decent tractor now, so um, I reckon we what? need a decent cultivator instead of this poxy thing, because we will need to cultivate our fields after we. Uh, well, first off, we need a trailer, don't we? That we can yes. actually hold grain in. Yes, a decent trailer so that we can hold a lot of grain. Yeah. Uh, we have got 996,000 left. It, can I just refer you at this point to options? Uh, so if you go back to escape. Second, um, second hand gear first, see what's in there. Uh, no, I, I was just going to take you oh, back options. To, to, to options. Yeah. Uh, I can't do game options here. Uh, where is it? What are we looking at? We are looking at for tractor limit make sure that the tractor weight limit is not exceeded i think it's on your screen it'll be a picture of a tractor with a, with a cog on it on yeah it. Yeah. Uh, yeah and if you click on that it'll say tractor weight vehicle controls uh got trailer fill limit um trailer fill limit yeah make sure trailer fill limit is clicked on 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 okay it's on save game okay because whatever trailer you've got now However you fill it, it you will not be heavier than that tractor will pull it if it's attached to that tractor. Ah, uh, okay, I got you. So right, it'll, it will set I, the weight limit of that trailer according to the horsepower of the tractor. That's it, yeah. So so the trailer will only be 50% full, yep. uh, but it will refuse to fill if it's attached to this tractor because yep. that is the maximum that that what tractor a, will pull. What about it's stop and go, me out. What about stop and go braking? Stop go braking i've got on anyway that's on anyway yep okay back yeah, out yeah, of that that's yep. basically press brake to reverse okay press, you know, accelerate, uh, forwards. trailer trailer yes sorry right now trailers i know you've just bought that tractor over you so you might be a bit premature with that. yeah i'm gonna have to go back now and get a freaking trailer <laughs> <laughs> well i can always do it in a minute i yeah. can always do it in a minute so back to p again yeah trailers um, select now the one yeah. i was looking at is um, not that one that one which is the farm farm tech fortis 3000 okay, I'm just scrolling <clears throat> it's a green one. Oh, I see the one you're talking about uh, yeah. and it looks like it carries just about everything but it's a three axle job. It does look to carry just about everything. How heavy is it? It's 23 tons. I uh, don't know. It's got a carrying capacity of 23 tons. It weighs 10 tons in its own right. So it'll carry it's 23 tons, will it? I'm thinking that's what it's saying on that screen. I, I don't know whether it's saying that's the maximum mass, in which case it takes the 10 tons into consideration and it carries 13. But I'm pretty sure that the left hand one is the weight of the unit and the right hand one is its carrying capacity what? so therefore what is 40 m 30. what is 40 m3 uh 40 meter 45 meters squared that's that's the overall cubic capacity of the trailer so yeah. if you've got particularly light products like straw uh then you want a larger mass trailer and it wouldn't necessarily be relevant that it would need to carry a heavier tonnage it would just need okay. to be a bigger bigger cube so i actually get on quite well with the one that's smaller than that the flyable yeah. but yeah flyable yeah I, I find it more maneuverable yes that's why i was saying um, that is a free axle and i'm not that happy about it's more, a free it's, axle. it's more match to our, our tractors we're not going massive we're, we're, we're you know trying to go middle of the road 
trying to keep things real, as it were, rather than just going, right, we'll just get the biggest of everything. In which so, bank. yeah, I'm with you on that one. I, I think I'll go for the Flago TMK273. That's, that's it, yeah. And if you click on that, then basically uh, we'll set up as standard. You can leave everything as standard, but you could refer the uh, viewers at this point just to the license plate down the bottom. If you click yeah, on you that, can you click on the actually... license plate, look, and you can... Um, uh, what should we put in there? Let's put in uh, Bobby. Um, uh, no, uh, license plate one, placement front or back. Okay, license plate one. Uh, B O. I don't know how to do it. Hey, well, basically, uh, so you're in the screen with the with the all the letters and numbers and all. Oh you? yeah, no, I'm on one. B O. I've done B O. Um, yeah, that's a bit weird. Uh, well, what's weird about it? Oh, oh, the way it's doing it. Yeah. That's because that's because you're probably on type one. Oh. Uh, where it says license plate type yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. If you click on license plate type. Two, ah, gotcha. Now I can. Yeah. Now I can write my name. You should be able to put Bob Slayer in there. Yeah. Done. Okay. Space okay. Space okay, and then basically you need to buy the vehicle. We'll buy the trailer in this Buy case. the trailer. Yes. Now it Done. should have a trailer with Bob Slayer written on it. Um, of course, since Done. being in the menu, yeah. I could have hopped in this tractor. You, you can jump. Too. You can jump in that one and go and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I, I, I'll just run that over while you're just talking to the viewers over there. Yeah, I'll get I'll the combine out. The uh, what are we going to do? Keep our combine? Uh, oh, this is uh, let's have a look at price. Let's have a look at second hand. Go in second hand and see if we can get a second hand combine. Because if we okay. get a decent second hand combine, I'm not against that. But it's just I find no. The big I, I, combine. I've got a I've got a Steyr Steyr tractor. I've got a uh, mm -hmm. uh, I've got a Commodore um, fertilizer or weed killer sprayer, and I've got a Fent 200 V Viro. That's all's in there. The 200 Vario? Yeah. It's quite a small one. Yeah, it's a Fent 200 V Vario, 43,000. That's quite a small tractor, that. It is quite a small one, yeah. I don't think we want that. I don't think we do. Let's have a look at combines. Combine select. <laughs> 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 Uh, so ours is I was 100... going to say, this, this number plate looks like you're a chicken farmer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> off, of the, off of the class. Of the <laughs> we need some chickens. That'll be another passive income. <laughs> and can, when you do, <laughs> shut up, when you do the chickens, can you sell the product instead of building up the pallets like you can on the, yes. uh, you can? As far as I know you can, yes. Uh, I, I've done it with the, the sheep. But the chickens will yeah, need feeding and watering, won't they? Uh, chickens, oh. I thought chick chickens just need um, uh, wheat the, or the, barley. The, uh, the wheat, barley, yeah, seeds, yeah. Right, I've got this crappy old Great. trailer with a dolly on it, so I need to sell that, yeah? Oh, that low loader. Yeah. Yes, please. No, 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 the low loader is for bales. <laughs> no, it's I, not. I've, <laughs> I, <laughs> I've unleashed the low loader and I bought it. Have you? Yeah, it's ours. Really? Yeah, I've used it for something. Are you selling that trailer? Yeah, because it's got a dolly on it. It's rubbish, isn't it? It is a hunk of junk, yeah. Yeah, it's a hunk of, hunk of junk. We've got a massive trailer now, so we don't need it, do we? No, so, well, no, no, we don't. But, I mean, we could, we could, if you were at the chicken farm or something like that, maybe have it full of grain and then just tip it with a small tractor or, you know, we could have it kicking around. Are we actually going to get any money for it? Um, have a look in the shop and see what they're going to give us for it. They're not going to give us very much. We just well hang on to it and use it for something like feeding uh, the chickens. Where is it? P? Because, I mean, these tractors are the same, really. Uh, where they? Is oh, that one. Uh, we we trailers, uh, select. Um, we will get nine grand for it. Is it worth it? Not really. Park it up somewhere so it rusts out. 
We'll park it, yeah, park it up somewhere. Now you bloody just, park it up. It's got a dolly on it. I'm freaking parking it up. Just keep your eye out when you're hedge cutting, by the way. <laughs> Where's our new trailer tractor? Uh, well, maybe if you jump to the shop, you'll find out. I thought you was bringing it over. No. All right, you get rid of that trailer then. Go and hide it in the hedge somewhere. <laughs> just have a look at the number plate on the back. You, you see what I mean about chicken farming? <laughs> Bob's layer. <laughs> That's not on. All right, I'm bringing this one back. I'm bringing the egg, egg basket back. Okay. That's a nice trailer, that. <coughs> you got a bit of farmer's lung there, but. Yeah. Well, I was doing straw last week, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I like that. That's a, that's a nice trailer and tractor, that. That'll serve us well, that one. Super job. This is more of a setup than a farming. <laughs> but we need, yeah. to, we need the gear and it needs to be done. If we're going to contract, we need some decent gear. Right, what's this thing? What did you do with the trailer? You really did chuck it in the bin, didn't you? I parked it next to the greenhouse, I thought I'd block the sunlight. Oh, you haven't blocked me watering system up, have you? Probably. Oh, you've stuck it round there, that's fine, yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, actually, I'd better just water the greenhouse, because I, uh, I did do a bit more... God, these tractors, they take a long time to pull away, don't they? Yeah, they're, they're not as responsive as a glass, are they? No. Power. Back a bit more. I'm, I'm just pulling these units out because obviously they're all going to go to the farm sale. So if we have them all in a nice row, somebody will come along in a minute with a stick and start the bidding. Yeah, we'll have a farm sale. Right, well, I'll just water the greenhouse up. Start loading. <clears throat> Lovely. Let's get a bit of elevation here so I can see the whole farm. Oh, look at that dinky little baler. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we should be talking big bales. If we're yeah, gonna we're going to sell that one, but at the moment we've got canola, so you might as well sell that gear. Yeah. So we're going to need a cedar and a cultivator, definitely. Yep. Because we can harvest these fields. Do, do you want, should I set a worker, or do you want to set a worker on the combine? He can be doing that whilst we're buggering about. He could be, yeah, uh, we could be... We'll yeah, have one I'll field ready it. to cultivate oh, and reseed yeah. then, won't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're on uh, real time at the moment, and it's July. And uh, it's two days per season. Okay. Yeah, to, to do that time lapse, I had to put it on one day per season, and a uh, 120 speed. That's the best yeah, I could the, go. The, there is realistic time mod out there as well, just for those that like to really fast forward time. And you can fast forward, literally, you can fast forward a year in under 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, it took me to two hours, 10 out. minutes to fast forward a year. It, it caught me out because I thought I'd just fast forward and I pressed eight too many times because it's eight and seven to adjust your uh, <laughs> time lapse speed. I'll just fill this up again. I pressed eight too many times and I ended up with a completely ruined crop and I had to actually recover my save game. <laughs> you uh, had wheel spin then on that combine, steady buddy. <laughs> yeah, I had to uh, sort my save game back up out. And, yeah, uh, I, I haven't it, done a, I haven't done game. a backup yet. I ought to do a backup when we finish. No, you don't need to. Oh, do we? You don't need to. The save game backups are automatic. Oh, they are cool. Yeah. And they're, they're in uh, they're, they're in as backup in uh, my games so right. my games fs22 uh and then if you went to backup and all your save game backups are in there okay uh, and what i do is usually copy paste it into save games yeah or into the main game menu then uh, so that you've got one there that says save game backup find the one that you want to replace rename that one Say save game three, uh, rename it save game three old, 
uh, and then leave it there just in case you want to go back and do, you know, you change right. your mind halfway through the whole operation. Yeah, that's, um, a, that's a greenhouse full. Just let them know and I'll refill this one and I'll disconnect it. And then basically rename save game back up to save game three. And then the game then recognizes the backup as the save game. So right. you're straight in on whatever the backup was. You, gotcha. And in the backup options, they do give you several uh, backups as to different times. It, it, it doesn't just refer you to you know one backup there are like five backups i'm looking at the right. money going down filling you're right you know that is yes yeah, it's, it's 300 and 300 and it's about 500 quid to fill this thing up with water it says 338 on my screen. yeah but Mine it wasn't empty ah right okay yeah this is why i find just going down the river yeah. or, or <coughs> on this one we've got quite a big lake it's or a certainly a, a a water reservoir uh, further over on the Look at it, it's, it's like a flipping farm sale going on here. Um, uh, I don't have the authority. Yeah, you do. Hire, I do not have the authority to hire a worker. All right, how do I do that? Go to people. Uh, that's a good question. Go to yeah, Toddy. Yeah. Remove from farm. Promote to manager. There you go. You're done. Excellent. Tom, the. I was going to say we usually do that sort of thing down the pub, but anyway. Well, we okay. did it last time. I don't know. What, uh, yeah, I don't know why it changed. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's because I've joined the game again. Right. It, it doesn't just part blind say that I am. Um... There he goes. He's off. And yeah, if any any of my subscribers want to come in on a Sunday afternoon, uh, we've got eight places available. Um, subscribers only, because uh, otherwise everybody's going to come in here and we won't get anything done. But if there's one or two of you out there that actually play farming sim, by all means, um, give me a shout. Later on tonight, get some experience. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we can sit you in a tractor and uh, get free. Free. You may, you, yeah, I was going to say they may even give us experience as well. They may be out yeah. there. No, what I'm thinking, I'm just no, I'm just being a greedy bugger. I don't have to hire them. I don't have to pay them, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody wants to come and work for us for free? You crack on. Yeah. You give us. Yeah, you can have some eggs. <laughs> That's it, yeah, the Bob's layer over here. <laughs> Take some eggs home. Uh, Paul, um, yes. we've got another field uh, over there. I'm just wondering, should we get... If you look at the map... Um, where's the map gone? We, we've left got two side, more fields below us. Yeah, two more fields two more below fields. us. Field 39 uh, and 42. Uh, okay, they're, yeah. They're well, in our sort they of... Not? They're in our patch, but... Uh, it exactly. came with three fields. Yeah, it came with three fields. We don't no, own those two. I'm just thinking, oh. should we buy those two fields? Oh, what, 39 and 42? Yes, because they're in our well, patch. The, I know what you're saying, but at the moment, what have they got in them? Um, I don't know. Because what I've been tending to be doing is, is that after they've paid me to kill the weeds and fertilise it, uh, and the crop's nearly ready for harvest, I'll buy the field then. It no. hasn't gone up at all. There's in nothing in them. They're cultivated. Well, there's nothing in them. I'd ignore them for a minute. Yeah. Buy the field uh, then. Uh, oh. So if you buy and the wait. field, you get the crop as well, do you? Exactly, yeah. So ah. I'm trying to... You're better off yeah, with yeah, a yeah. canola field yeah, if you can. Yeah. <laughs> um, or alternatively, if somebody's just paid you to well, uh, harvest the field or um, fertilise the field and weed kill the field, yeah. then uh, we know it's up to a good standard anyway. And it's still worth the same value as before you did the contract. Yeah. So, so somebody's paying you to improve the field. It's nearly ready for harvest. Um, that's a good time to buy the field. I personally feel. Yeah. Yeah, you're you just right. You get the most most back for your your money from the field. The field doesn't quite pay for itself, but it's usually about a third of its value. You usually end up getting back depending on the crop. Okay. Uh, next um, on the agenda, what, how are we doing? Thirty-eight minutes. Christ, time has gone like mad. Oh, yeah. We've, yeah. We haven't, we haven't started, we've done nor yeah. <laughs> A lot of information now. <laughs> i got a headache already. Um, we need to sell the cedar and the cultivator, and we need to take a tractor each, go down to the farm and pick up a new cedar and a new cultivator, I think. Because when he's harvested that field, we're going to need to cultivate it and replant it, ready for the... What can we plant this time of year? Uh, if we're going to do chickens, we're going to need barley or wheat or something, aren't we? And then we can get straw yeah, in that are. as well. So, so basically, just, just on that question, though, if you go back to menu and click on where it's got the picture of the calendar and 15, yeah, uh, then it will show you exactly where you are on the screen with the blue line. Which, so at the moment, we're in July. So uh, they, can... they, they, 
the orange area <coughs> is the harvest area, the green area is what we can plant. So actually, uh, we are on canola harvest at the moment. So we can't we plant can anything either, until September, can we? We can't, well, we can plant canola in August on a back to back crop. Yeah. Um, or alternatively, we can wheat or barley. Wheat or barley. But just on that note, I, I see that wheat's ready for harvest, uh, uh, or it would be around the place. I wonder if we can find a field that's ready for harvest. <laughs> oh, 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 26. I went out the other day and cultivated it for them. I wish I never started. <laughs> Three hours it took me real time. <laughs> I had, I had gonna, metacarpal gonna swelled up on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was knackered after that. I thought, bugger, I'm not playing them anymore. I've been here three hours. It's been fertilised. Right, right. So what have we actually got around no, the map that's, that's, that's ready for harvest? Have a look. Okay, so we've got, we've got 21, 16, 9, 7, 2, 5. Uh, harvest, we're looking at uh, purple. Yeah. No, no, we're not. We're looking at orange. If you go oh, that's to harvested. Top, Sorry, growth, ready to harvest. Yeah. Growth. Yep. Growth is orange. Got it. Yep. So we've got 21, uh, 16, 9, and 5. You're right. Yep. Uh, oats, are they out there? Oats are out there. Aren't so we 16. need to look at contracts, harvesting contracts. I did say 16, didn't I? Uh, no, the only harvesting contracts we got is 16 or 21. Yeah, 16 harvest. Free grand. So just, yeah, but it's ready to harvest, obviously. Sixteen. Yeah. So if you if we just clicked on a farmland and clicked on sixteen, what is that money value? Two hundred and nine thousand. I don't want to buy one all the way up there yet. No, it's the wrong side of the. Wrong yeah, side I want I want to get uh, get them close yeah. around the farm. So when I'm on my own, I can just go out and harvest them and bring them back. Yeah, <clears throat> but we could certainly harvest that one for them. Um, yeah. But what I'd be tempted to do, though, to be honest with you, because if that's the only harvest we've got going at the moment, it would be to borrow the equipment. You've uh, got fertilising on field five for 13 grand. 16 and 21. Actually, 21's got the better money. Harvest the oat. Yeah, uh, yeah but you, you but see, both of those contracts, though, both say take the product to Marizone, and we know for a fact oh, that yeah. doesn't, doesn't work because that's the train. Yeah, I know how it works now. I know how the train works normally. You know, you know, you get the big green beacon on the middle of the railway line. What what you have yeah. to do is dump it into the railway station, hire the train, fill the yeah. train up, then yeah. you just let the train go, and he dumps it when he gets to that green marker. And yeah, sells it. But, but yes, he does. But he only sells it if it's your product. It, it, there's a glitch with the contract. Oh, he doesn't do it on the contracts, does he? It yeah. won't sell the contracts. Good point. Good uh, point. The train. But what I will say is, is, I've been using it as a silo for canola at the moment on my farm. Um, yeah, because, that's a good idea because it's a free silo, isn't it? <laughs> it's a free silo, and you can um, take it straight out again. Well, you don't need to. Do, you can no, take if you, it if you want out, it. If you, yeah. to, if, if you wanted to use it somewhere else, you can yeah, mm. lift it and take it elsewhere. Um, but also, then you could just hire the train for a thousand pounds because it's per time that you go through the map. Then it, it costs you a thousand pounds. Yeah. So I, I'm trying to accumulate it because that is definitely where the best money is. If you, I mean, if you went to where the dollar sign is, that's not the dollar sign. I'm wrong. It's the um, graph, isn't it? The one, two, three graph. The directly above the tractor on the main, on the menu. Yeah. Um, then, then if you see any of the prices, if you just click on wheat, for example, like GHB, GCHB grain elevator 945, grain mill 1265, uh, Le Jardin de Parmier farm shop 1006, but Marazone is actually 1325, <coughs> and that will go up. Definitely. I'm so, just going to go and relieve the combine. Ha ha. So you actually get much better money if you were on if you weren't contracting you get much better money sending it off the map yes uh right you need to find a cultivator okie dokie i need to find something that will cultivate first so we've decided we're not contracting we're working on our own why is he not empty uh i think he's not ready to empty he must have got some in him. He's up right beside him. Hey, John. 
Have you got a percentage marker going up at the bottom yeah. of the screen of the trailer? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it coming out of the spade. I saw him spill some as he went over your cab. I didn't. What, what does it say on your marker then? Like at the bottom of your screen, it should tell you how full that trailer is. Zero. What's it? Yeah. I've, I've got 4339, your trailer oh, is looking at Are you in it? I'm in it. All right, I'll pull up side, see if you can dump well, it. Well, that's right, I've got the brakes on. I've got the brakes on, I'll open it. He stops. This trailer won't take canola. Crap! The trailer does take canola. It don't. <laughs> it doesn't from this convoy. Um, Let's go to P. Go to, if we go to P, we can see exactly. P? Where is P, we? and then go to trailers. Where is it? Go back to the... Oh, what? trailers. Uh, go to the Flygall TMK273. It's what we own, And you it? look at... Yeah, if you can go to owned. Owned items. Why is it not here? Hey, it says trailers there. If you, oh, trailers. I've got, got to click on trailers. Okay. Uh, and if you highlight the yeah, cycle, canola. because we've obviously got, yeah, we've got the logo, it definitely takes it. Yeah. But it must be a case of this combine cannot empty it. But that's right. This combine is only 51% full. So what I'd suggest is when it does get full, we can just pop down to the grain bin and tip it there now. Yeah, but it... It was, wasn't it canola we was harvesting with it on field 26? Yeah, but not with that trailer. No. So, so I don't know whether the arm is having a conflict with the trailer. Ah, uh, it could be. Not it's too high for it. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, dump it in the silo. I'm just trying to... Oh, see? You see that? Yeah, it spits, then it stops. Yeah. No, I will just prove that we can empty. Before we lose an entire crop of canola. <laughs> by the way, talking yeah. of losing an entire crop of canola. What you done? Uh, I got hit by a train quite badly because I was using <laughs> a train truck as a shortcut. <laughs> Serves you right. And um, if you like you do. Yep, you're there. Well, no, we're back empty. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to come out of the angle about that. Um, and. I was wedged, there was no way on this earth that I could get out, uh, no matter how much equipment I Oh, I you, or, or you put. had to replace was, the vehicle, did you? So I had to reset the vehicle. As soon as I reset the vehicle, I it, lost an entire trailer full of no. It dumped the load, it, does it? Oh, it, reset, it reset the trailer empty. Oh. It was full when we had the accident because I was on my way to the... Uh, I was, ironically, on the way to the train uh, freight depot to, to empty the trailer into my silo or into their <laughs> silo but I was using it <laughs> right we need uh, what was it a cultivator and a cedar put put Ari back on that and uh, yeah we'll go down and get these other two items we are on 47 minutes already I can't believe that uh, good job somebody's doing some work eh Ari yeah <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah don't forget you can come in guys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are actually talking on uh, Steam at the moment, so that's what we're using for our communications. Uh, we're using Steam Talk, which we find is uh, quite easy to set up. We don't use um, Discord because Discord to me is so busy in there. I don't know how to work Discord. Yeah. I can I can well, work we, it. We used to use Discord. Yeah, I know, but it takes an hour to set it up. It's not as easy as it used to be, is it? And no, it's all, too the busy. The automatic answering, or when somebody's ringing in game, I find it very difficult to answer. I yeah. usually end up crashing the game by the time I've answered the call. Yeah, exactly. Um, right, anyway, so what are you looking for, a cultivator? Yeah, I'm going to sell this cedar and I'm going to sell the cultivator. Then we need to take a tractor okay. each down to the farm oh, shop. Yeah. Yeah, you, I was going to just you're get already that going. Where you start selling, I, yeah. I can get them over there. So, uh, so if I go P, we're ahead of time a bit. Our vehicles, uh, baler. Shall I sell the baler as well? I personally would, yeah, because I'd go big baler if I was going to. You just yeah. got a better sweep, better pick up, faster, harder, more. Yeah, it's, it's gone. Cedar. Sell. What have we got? Nine hundred and fifty-five. So, not too bad on the money. But money can run away with you. You think you've got plenty, and uh, in the farming game, all of a sudden it cultivator it, it dwindles very quickly. So you do want to hang on to your money. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can spend can. you can spend money really easily. 
Okay. Um, money cheats out there, but this isn't. We're not doing that. I'm going to bring my new tractor down. Oh, and yeah, the class. Yeah. Have I disconnected the trailer? Yep. Yee! You, you just left the trailer there, have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it away then. Oh, mind the pressure washing. Are you back already? Well, I've just left the Massey up there and jumped to the Valmer. Oh. Okay. Alright. I'm off down to the farm shop. Oh, over the crop. That's a nice tractor. I like that. That's a good buy, that. Bob Layer. Probably got two chickens. <laughs> 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 We're gonna have to set the chicken farm up now, Rob, just for your number five. Yeah, we'll we'll do <laughs> we'll we'll do that last thing today. We'll set well last thing today is gonna to probably be in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. But we've also got to do some landscaping as well because <clears throat> I'm not really into driving up down that area there. Okay, right? yeah, we can go uh, we can go an hour and twenty. My uh Do, do my, you think they can take that? Yeah, my guys out there keep asking me for two hours. Yeah. They're, they're hardy people, are they? Okay. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Uh, they're, right, mo they're, a coffee. they're mostly old boys <laughs> with nothing better to do. <laughs> I, I don't cater for the young. No. No, we well, yeah. <laughs> My uh, target audience is, is like 50 plus. <laughs> I'm not sure how many young That's not being cheeky either, because. Oh, <laughs> nice one! <laughs> <laughs> I like to say, I'm not being cheeky either, because I'm nearly 60. Yeah, and, uh, well, I'm, I'm not that quite yet, but um, I feel it sometimes. Yeah, I make a lot more noise when I get off the floor than I used to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very neat. Why well, have we got three tractors down here now? <laughs> well, this is, for the... park. <laughs> this is where the equipment's coming from. <laughs> right, um, so... so what are we looking at? We're looking at a cultivator and a cedar and maybe a baler. Uh, we need money for landscaping and maybe a small chicken farm which will okay, probably well, let's, probably let's wipe get us the out. important things get, get the things that are going to earn you money done first cultivator say, first um, yeah the, uh, yeah well uh, we can always contract with a cultivator and we can always contract with a um a cedar right so uh, i think that's definitely two options where are we going i've got cultivators uh i'm in p and i can't find cultivators no, I'm just scrolling myself. But it's got to be around plows. It's usually around plows. Plows, there we go. Plows, oh. second line down on the right hand side. Beside plows, you've got the green cultivator. What are we in? Tractors or trailers? Trailers. It'll be ah, trailers because right. it's, 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 it's it's not trailers. It's, it's, it's basically. Because it's towed, yeah. Equipment. Like, yeah, because all the self propelled equipment is under yeah. uh, tractors. And then anything that's powered by equipment is, is under. Oh, uh, they're trailers. quite cheap. We can go for a decent one by the look of it. Pull a decent one. Well, something that's about fifty grand. Uh, we, we want probably not the biggest there is, but like a medium. I was thinking about the um, the Prolander I'm looking at. Yeah, seven five hundred. That's the one I'm looking at. Yeah, if you click on it, you see down there it says that we need two hundred and fifty horsepower. Yeah, we got our, that. Our we? tractor's two hundred and ninety horsepower, but it's worth checking that your your, your tractor, tractor will, pull will it. take yeah will take the equipment that you're buying because those you will do clocks and plus you need to look at the spread we got a seven and a half meter spread on that one yeah what well, have we got on the flat liner beside it we've only got six, six you see and for an extra eight thousand ne next one up is uh 320 horsepower so you're going to be bogging out with yeah, that yeah go for the go for you, the red one yeah am i going to buy uh, it or are you going to buy it i don't want to buy you, two no, you can buy it. Just, you can buy it. I'm just purely looking. I'm, I'm just there window shopping with you. You're the one with the checkbook. Right, okay. I'm going to put Bob Layer on it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Bob's chickens. <laughs> Chicken Bob. <laughs> right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. How do you get rid of them? How do you get rid of what? too many letters here how do you get rid of the other ones uh isn't there a back arrow on the uh, uh i thought you could highlight it and then go back arrow uh, down on the keypad like escape uh, like delete 
back out. Oh, delete on the keypad, would that do it? No, that just moves it. Uh, okay, hang on, so I'll come back uh, to you. Have we got a delete on it? Uh, yeah. So oh, I'll click on license plate. Ah, uh, right, I've got it now. Uh, so if I go. Done it. You've done it? Yeah. Bye. Okay. No, that was back. Oh, sh sugar. <laughs> Gotta do all that again. <laughs> I gotta do all that again. Ah, nuts. Type 2. Uh, okay. It's alright. Space, okay. Bye. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Get out. <clears throat> there he is. Where's the number plate? Oh, yeah, that, that didn't work, right? You got another chicken bob. No, I called that one Totty. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not very good, is it? You didn't work that out, did you, Giants, you idiots? <laughs> anyway, that's a top why. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of <laughs> we got a top wire on that one. Uh, <coughs> right, so I'll hitch that one up. That looks quite a nice quarter of there, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to hitch it up. Yeah. So what was the other thing? Cedar. Cedar, yeah. Do we need to replant those fields? Have you got deer in front of you on your screen? A what? A deer? Yeah. No? What, in the road? Not, that, not here. Nope. Okay, they've run off now because they're scared of them. They were there. Did see it. That's a unit. Uh, F1. Unfold. X. X. If you X. Yeah. X and unfold B will drop into the ground. So you're going to watch, watch your times. Don't press B. Yeah, no, I'm not going to drop it. Nice. A nice bit of kit that. Yep. Okay, excellent. Right, cedar next. Uh, we'll pull that back up. I'll jump out the tractor. Is that still going up? No. No, no. It stops its function when as soon as you leave. It's the same with combines. If you jump out of a combine when it's running, but that was a thing on nineteen. A trailer. Yeah, you could leave it emptying into a trailer and go on to the next thing. You can't do that with it. With the twenty-two, you yeah. have to be sat in there. Yeah. Okay, right, uh, cedar. So we need to go P. Find a cedar. Uh, cedars, there they are. Select. Okay, what are we looking at here then? A well, potting, but... pottinger. Six, um, six meter, that one. Um, yeah, you were talking about this terrasem, yeah. Now, the only difference between the terrasem and the coon is, is actually that the coon holds more seed. Does it? Yeah. It's a six meter as well, isn't it? I don't like the next one. Don't like the look of that. No, well, to be honest with you, again, if you look at your power ratings on it, you're right with the next one. Oh, what Put about one what about the twelve meter? Lemkin. Twelve meter, yeah. That that will and it does all of the crops, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's only a one eighty horsepower. Yeah, so it's and it's Very a 12, 12, 12. Uh, yeah, the, the only downfall, if you see up on the right hand side there, you see where it says nine mile an hour, that's the speed obviously that your uh, uh, function works at. Oh, the other one's um, 11. Yeah, but also to the right of that, you've got a picture of uh, seeds there. Yes. You see, you see you've got the blue. Yeah. So the blue, it's basically saying, the blue bit saying, right, this is where uh, the functions or, or the, the um, products then that can be held there. Uh, work with and then underneath it, it, it's um, exactly what grain you can use um, but up there it just says seeds but if you click back on the um, back to the coon and also to the potting air oh yeah it takes fertilizer as well it takes fertilizer as well so you can ah. fertilize as well as seed at the same time so that's why it takes the extra horsepower okay and that one's a 270 what have we got We've got a 290. 
So we, yeah, better go for the king oh, then, aren't we? Yeah, or, or to be honest with you, I'm not against either of those two. But we're going to need to buy a fertiliser anyway for contracting, aren't we? We don't want to take that oh, seed yeah. around. Oh, yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. No, no. Um, no, to be honest with you, yeah, if you were, if you were contracting, then you might be better with the lem Lemkin because you are just paid to, to seed, not to fertilise, because... yeah. It, it will fertilize if you've got fertilizer in the in the in the bin yeah you're um, going to need a bigger fertilizer than six meter aren't you if you're contracting if you're contracting definitely this is yeah. where it comes back to using spray but uh and then going down the sprayer route because i found that was definitely the most efficient way of spraying and the most cost effective you could get so much covered i'd probably um, go with the lemkin then yeah okay so we go with the lemkin because we can always put a, put a fertilizer spreader on the front although Having said that, I have. Yeah, you can. You, yeah, you can. You can got... attach one to the front of the tractor, can't you? Yeah, but w when you try and hire a worker in, with that combination, they say that the fertilizer spread is facing the wrong way. But oh. when you're doing it yourself, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, okay. Or there's the Amazon, which does. The both. Amazon takes too much takes too much power. Oh yes, it does. Lemkin. Yeah, Lemkin, I think. Okay, Lemkin it is. Bye. I'm not playing with the number plate. Bugger that. Yeah, I think we've established that that's just the fad. Yeah. There she is. Solitaire 12. Excellent. Right. Lovely. If you want to itch that up, I'm itched up. Yeah. And we'll go back to the farm and we'll landscape that bit of road. Okay. Because that's going to cost landscaping, isn't it? So we've got 757,000 left. That's not bad. We've only spent 300,000. We've done it wisely, hopefully. Yeah, because we had 1,100,000 and something, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. 1.1. And also, obviously, we've got the canola down there. Um, yeah, let's make our money back. our trailer in a minute. And, and we can actually send that off to, uh, to Marazone. No. Marazone or... No, we're not no. sending it there, are we? Well, oh, yeah, you get more, to... more money per box. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, this thing's nippy, too. Whoa! It steady, is, right it? now. Nice. Uh, Combine's probably stopped somewhere, has he? I would have probably thought so by now. But you had three fields in total that all needed harvesting, didn't you? Yeah. So right, I'm going to team. push this one back in undercover, seeing he's brand new. Yeah. Uh, if I can steer the thing. So you don't really want me driving into the side of you at the moment, then? No, you can go past. Go on. So it's in. Oh, come on. Mind the shed. Get it nice and straight, Bob. Come on. He's already put his in there. Um, where's the combine gone? Oh, he stopped over the other end of the field. Yeah, I wondered if he needs emptying, so I just thought I'd take the little trailer over. Yeah, good idea. See if he'll empty in that one. Let's back this I one in. I think that's finished this field. I want a back tractor in beside it. He's finished this one, so I'll send him on down to the next one and I'll come alongside, I think. Yeah. Lovely. I don't know if you want to hop to the combine in a minute, but once I set him going, I am going to come alongside, so I don't know if you want any of that. Village. Where is the combine? Um, I, I well, can't get in I'm it. literally just no. jumping out of it now. All right. I'm, I'm now on the move behind it in the massive. I'm on the combine. Okay. And what's this percentage? 
He's not a bad little combine this actually, he gets the field done in 10-15 minutes. Hello! Hello! Uh, I'll, I'll stick my flashing lights on. Yeah, there's your there. screenshot. <laughs> You're on the wrong side for the spoke, but never mind. <laughs> well, that, that, that's why I wasn't going to go down through the crop. Because I think that's wrong. Yeah, technically I know, I know wrong. See that Everything field beside us there, I wouldn't mind. It's a nice field, but really we want to be paid to put some... Yeah, wait till there's a crop in it, yeah. I mean, if you have a look and see what the value of that is, you know, we'll refer to it later. Um, I, don't I can see have a look field. at that. That's farmland, isn't it? I don't see it? the... I'm saving. The farmland, I'm yeah. saving. Uh, farmland, where do I find that? Is that in P? Uh, no, you go map. Go to the top map, the one that looks like a lemming. Yeah. Um, farmland, and then if yeah, you got it. X got it. Yep, farmland, got it. and then click on the field. It should highlight blue what you get for your money. Uh, that one is uh, value. Oh, it's only one th uh, thousand. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand and forty-two is uh, one hundred and forty-six thousand. Uh, so, so that's one hundred and twenty thousand, surely, isn't it? One hundred and forty-six. The value of that field. Forty-two. And field 39, is it, is uh, 112,000. Yeah. We have 757,000. So that would be like 270,000. Yeah, what, what I'm saying is, is, if somebody pays us to plant a crop in there and fertilise it, I'll buy it. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> absolutely. Not that I'm a tight farmer or anything. Right, are you back in the combine? I am, yeah. There he goes. Still going. Still going. Still going. Eighteen, ten percent. You're done. Yeah, we're out of there. See, back. I look really professional then, but I wasn't actually driving. Harry was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sat in the dummy seat. <laughs> yeah. It looked like I was doing it. <laughs> I'm 86% in that trailer. Nice. Stick it's it in the a, silo. Yeah, that's it. And then we'll basically just bring the big trailer underneath. Yeah. Send it yeah, sell it, sell it in bulk then. That's it. Yeah, just sell it in one big lot. But if I was closer to the freight, um, I would be tipping this straight at the freight depot. I wouldn't be passing the ranger over to the farm. No. Tip no. it. Tip that it is. straight there. Wait, wait till it accumulates. And you can also tip multiple grains there. I've been tipping wheat, oats, barley, and canola all at the. Right, so uh, it separates them all. Yeah. It's a, well, I'd like to think it does. Uh, I've yet to actually get on the train and find that. <laughs> but it should do, yeah. There's no reason why it would. Yeah, you get a load of multi crane. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. straight up to the Kellogg's factory. <laughs> just, yeah, just need a bit of milk with it. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I think today's episode has been really informative. I've learned a lot. Um, yeah, I've played farming sim for about 10 years now, but they keep changing it up and things keep altering. It, it's, and some of them aren't for the best sometimes, like when you jump out a combine, you want it to, but then a real combine wouldn't carry on unloading when you turn the engine off. So No, but, but uh, I think that's where the start, stop engine, automatic start, stop engine function comes with, because if you... Uh, because we've got auto start on on, on the Oh, so gear, you could jump out and leave the engine running and it would unload, If wouldn't you it? change the option <coughs> to... In, in theory, press, yeah. Press start, press stop, then you could actually leave it ticking over and unload underneath it. 
but then you would have a combine ticking over in the fuel if you forgot about it as well. Also. Yeah, you'd um, run out of fuel. Yeah, and also uh, I know what we're like with fast forwarding time and things like that as well. All of a sudden, you're going to need to service it every time you go to use it because you could fast forwarded it on for three months. Well, that, that like was that. lucky. I used that Stein to do the uh, time lapse because we sold it now, so we didn't need to refuel it. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> just worked out right. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave uh, Ari going here for a minute. We'll go over and do that landscaping, shall we? Okay, yeah. Nice. Go for it, Ari. Right. Well, I could get another worker cultivating this one as well whilst we're doing that. Yeah, you can. I mean, not every worker costs you money, but... It, it, yeah, it's, it's all right. We've a, got plenty. It seems to be about a pound a, uh, a second. Yeah, it's not a lot, it's, is it? He's only there for ten minutes. Well, with that equipment, you'd like to think so. But, <laughs> yeah. it, but tell him that class is new. Don't grab it too much. It's, it's <laughs> still not bedded in yet. I'm always nervous about many people. Right, if you go over and start landscaping, get your head around that again. I'll come over in a minute and see what you've done. I'll take the tractor and cultivator out and stick it in the first field we've just done. Okay, I know, I know what I'm doing with landscaping, don't worry yeah, about that. Yeah, I'll come over and see what you're doing. Okay. That's now I'm going to cook it up. I know you said that. <laughs> <coughs> nice. Uh, if I, yeah, I'll put him this way, then he won't interfere with the traffic. Okay, uh, unfold his X, back her up a bit, back her up a lot. I'm having a job backing up on the keyboard, I tell you. I know I should Yeah, have. it doesn't, doesn't self-correct, does it? It's no. A, it's a bit of a nightmare with the keyboard. I had a problem the other day with my um, game kept on crashing, so I turned my, uh, uh, turned my steering wheel off. And I was lost. I yeah, was all it over does. The, place. the wheels stay where you leave them. You have to correct the you, wheel you, all the you time. Correct all the time. And and the yeah, the auto center on it is so slow. Yes. When you're trying to change from left to right, it's so slow on the keypad. It well, is. On the isn't steering it? wheel, if you, you say left and right, you just you just force it. It just. What goes. is it? What is it to lower tool V in it? V to lower tool. There he is. Away he goes. He's doing that quite fast too. Put it in uh, auto drive and put our Henry in there and jump out. Yeah, all right, Henry, carry on. Excellent. Right, landscaping. Just on that note, I'm just going to move the massive. If you want to jump to the bulwark then and then walk back. Uh, I'm at the farm shop. Yeah, exactly. That's where the truck's coming from. Bring it back. I just, uh, I just have to move the basket. No, no, no. We just we were going to do landscaping, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, you're starting down this end, are you? Okay. Well, that's the end we want to come from, isn't it? Yeah, true. Right. So uh, what I will say is we don't actually we don't own this field, do we? Can we not landscape on this uh, common land? No, 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 not if we don't own it. Ah, okay. Right, you, so field 37. It's got what in it? Uh, it's got a it's crop got in it. cotton in it. It's fertilised 100% and it's growing. Oh, that's going to be worth a bit. Buy it? Well, let's, what's it worth? What's it, what, are, what are they asking? Uh, field, what is so, it? What's 37? 37, 276,000. 276,000. I would buy that. It's right there, isn't it? It's on our flight path between... Right, so, so now we own this. 
It's ours now. Okay. Right. You might, it, it says you own all of it, but you don't own quite all of it. It's about five metres off of the uh, road line. Which right. Is where you own up, up until. Um, and so what we want to do is try and get a fairly decent straight line from about here, where I'm stood, uh, down through. So, what we do is if you press left shift and P. Left shift and P. It takes you into landscaping mode. Yeah, I'm there. But it takes you into building mode in general. Um, so if you wanted to build uh, even an, an animal... Um, yeah, silos, yeah. Silos, all, all of it, it's all here, all in little options down so the we, bottom we, there. So we click on landscaping, in, yep. In this case, we click on landscaping. And strangely enough, we click on painting, which I, I think is a bit of a strange word for it. But painting, yeah, because paint. you're painting the ground, aren't you? You are painting the ground. You so do you it. Lots of, lots of different options down here. What we're going to go for is gravel because I find that that's the most realistic looking without getting too carried away with my little uh, tracks. The, the little tracks, are, they look nice, um, but they take a lot of work to make. So I've so, clicked on landscaping. How do you click on gravel? Uh, you scroll across. Down the bottom, you've got pictures of lots of different uh, squares with lots of different things in them. You can highlight them. I'm on oh, painting. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on yeah, sculpting. Yeah, if you click stuff. painting. Yeah. Uh, all right. It. So if you go painting. Yeah. Uh, and, and then you can click on the relevant. Yeah. Whatever you want to use. So it's yeah. animal mud. Yeah. yeah. Asphalt. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Uh, you can change. You can change the the uh, shape of your paintbrush. Of, of your paintbrush. So this is as it comes as standard. Uh, he says, I don't own this land. See, that uh, there is the closest I can get okay. to working on the on the track. Okay, go with that then. Okay, now that is small. You want uh, bigger than that, don't you? Brush. We can go up to that size. Yeah, that'll do. That's a bit big for a road, isn't it? <laughs> It is a bit big for a but I can grass over it in a minute. I'm just showing you the difference in sizes. Also, if you press V at this moment, V you can change V. You can change the brush shape or a round one. Ah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to trying to be a tad informative as we go here. Yeah. Right. So basically, what we need to do is gravel right the way through from where you're standing about there somewhere right the way through I'm going with a rounded one because I don't really want a crisp edge on it I want it to look a bit like a try not to hit the field yet you've got to obviously go around the field as Rob says right now when you get to the end of the because I'm at, at the end of my screen what I've got to do then is just let off the mouse push your arrow push, towards the end push, don't you? Yeah. Push the mouse towards the yeah the yeah. end of the map, and yeah. it comes back. It takes out the trees as well, nice. And a little bit to the road. That's it. That's as far as we can do with what we've got. Right. Also, around this area, well, you probably can't see it because I'm I'm pointing, I, I'm, back I'm pointing with you. and you're not <laughs> you're not looking at my screen. No. But basically, we hit exit there. Uh, escape once. Hit escape once. Yep, I'm out. So now you click on sculpting. Oh, uh, right, I'm out, out. Um, okay, so so you go left shift. I'm key. back in, yep. Um, yep, landscaping. And sculpting. then it comes back with the pictures of the an a arrows. Yep, up and uh, down. And right, up and down, so you can change the height of things. Uh, you can level things out, you can make ridges or you can soften. What, what I'm going to do in a minute is just do a quick soften just down the road here. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it moving on your map uh, if you're looking at the, the area, but I'm just going to try and just get this area to smooth out a little bit. It's costing me money, so it is smoothing. Just We don't want it too bumpy down through here. Can you see it moving? Yep. <clears throat> Remember last time we did this in uh, 19 and we ended up digging pits in the fields and everything went on. Yeah, oh, yeah, we had a 
big, yeah, we had black holes, didn't we? Yeah, it's like you want to turn your save off as well, your auto save, and then yeah. to save it when you've finished, because if you cock it up and it does an auto yeah. save, <laughs> yes, that's it, it's cocked up. <laughs> so turn your right, auto save go. off. Right, Excellent. So that is that is our little track. I know it's probably still a bit bumpy. I haven't taken all the bumps out because it's not not a motorway. It's a farm track. Yeah. So this is our new, and it's got a nice little sound to it as well, gravel. Yeah. So that's now our track leading back to the farm, and that's I feel I know it's fair enough. It's uh, not perfect by a long stretch, but it's just a tad more realistic than just driving down it. Yeah, it's the best you can do, really. With the game the way it is at the moment, that's the best we can do. Yeah, excellent. Okay, right. guys, I'm going to have to leave it there because we are, what are we, one hour or 20 minutes out. And, um, yeah. It, blocked. No, it, go and check out work. Yeah, go and check out work or see a minute. Oh, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just say goodbye. Yeah, um, yeah so we're, we're going to carry on and get these fields in, and uh, we will see you in the next one when I call in Mr. Farmer Toddy, and uh, he'll help me sort stuff out we've done a lot today it's been very informative we haven't done much harvesting i know but to be honest i've probably spent 10 hours on this game during this week and that's all we've done so <laughs> it takes the time it takes the time so i've been bob slayer you've been watching have a good one and we'll see you in the next one bye bye for now yes all oh, right back to work excellent yeah i better go and move him around.